Hello, developers and designers. I hope you are all doing well. I want to share a solution to an issue we struggled at for a long time while building the user interface of Spotty. Spotty is a social media app for iOS and Android developed using Flutter, which is Google's UI toolkit for building apps from a single code base. I want to get to the solution as soon as possible, and at the end of the video, I will briefly explain what Spotty is. So let me demonstrate to you the issue. When I give a name to this, Sponti logo, and I export it. As you can see, this is our logo that we exported from Figma, this logo. But here, we only see the yellow dot, the left eye of our logo. But the data is already inside SVG, but for some reason, you cannot see it. And I'm going to show you the solution right now. The plugin is called Fill Rule Editor. You can find it in uh, figma.com slash community slash plugins. And after you install it, the plugin, you can use it like this. You go inside the parts that you cannot see, which were the actual outline of the logo and the right eye. So let's go back to our drawing. This is only the outline part, the S part of our sponty. And we right click. We go to our plugins, we go to the fill rule editor, and here we can we can change the direction of the arrows here. If you can see this arrow is going to the right top, when I click on the edge, it will go to the opposite side. And we can close this. And also we have to choose our right eye, which will be problematic, and again right click plugins editor and we will do the same thing we will just change the direction of the arrow and now when we choose the same image and spawn to logo 2 we will export the SVG and we can upload the image this one and as you can see our new exported SVG has all the parts the intended parts that the designer designed for us and I hope this solution helped you as much as uh, it could. And as promised, here's a brief explanation of Sponti. Sponti gathers people nearby for all kinds of activities like cycling, drinking coffee, playing board games, playing basketball, or just a friendly chat. Sounds fun. To make it even more enjoyable, gatherings, or what we call as spawns, need to have at least three participants. And events need to happen spontaneously, so you can at most plan two hours ahead. Then you feel like you can easily browse organic activities happening near you and join in. We are excited to see what kind of activities you all will be creating. And uh, you can find the app in Google Play Store, in the uh, Apple App Store. And as a side note, uh, Flutter is what is being used to develop this app. You can check it out at flutter.dev. Thank you very much. Take care.